Hello everyone. Today um, we will talk about uh, online learning, a system that can uh, learn on the fly um, the position of object and track them on the visual field. This is uh, probably one of the best application of um, deep networks and uh, machine learning and vision systems and it's probably the most fundamental component of a robotic vision system. Let's go into the details. So the online learning uh, in the form that we have right now in uh, our laboratory code um, is um, a program that you can see over here. Uh, basically what you see is there's a view of the camera. Um, we, can, uh, we have a square region that um, pointed by the mouse cursor and we can choose an area and by pressing one of these buttons we can uh, say for example that I want uh, to track object one so I click object one and then I can move my cursor and find object one uh, for example a face and I can save multiple prototype of the objects by clicking multiple times uh, and this will basically um, train a, a very simple layer of the last layer of a convolutional neural network or a deep network um, and uh, so you have you can get this basically these prototypes and this is the output of the neural network at uh, uh, based on this prototype and given this view and this is a thresholded version of this convolutional neural network based on a threshold that you see over here that allows you to uh, basically uh, pick up pick up an object It's probably a lot better if I give you a demonstration. So I'll show you here uh, a demonstration of the system um, with a large convolutional neural network. So here I have different kind of object I can select. So I can, I can choose object one, for example, and then I can decide that object one will be my face. If I click on the face, I will save a prototype over here. I can click at multiple prototypes of the face, for example. Uh, and they will be saved over here. Um, as you can see, I can adjust the threshold here of detections uh, and that will give me basically what kind of detections I can get. As you can see, there's a couple of positive prototypes due to the fact that my, um, my shirt here, as I was saying before, has a lot of uh, features. So this is the current uh, version of the online learner, as it is right now. Let's go into the details about this system and talk a little bit about, about it. So first of all, online learning, as you can see, is an example of one-shot learning. So you can have, um, you, can, uh, uh, you can pick up one view, for example, the object, or maybe multiple if you want to have multiple, but let's say in the simplest case, it's a one-shot learning. You're given one example. Now you have to find that object in every, in every single frame and possibly track it. So this is a great example of how convolutional neural network, a deep network, you should be able to find an, an object. So it's an object detector. You should know whether the object is there or not. Uh, it um, it's given only one prototype. Should segment the object from the background and learn that object in that specific background. As we saw before, um, I usually click on. Uh, we have a rectangular window, and the convolutional neural network learns anything that is inside this window. So, if I was holding a pen or a small and thin object or a long, long and thin object again. Um, then the network wouldn't be able to learn it very well because uh, there's not this, uh, this mask basically, this, um, the input um, square patch of image that you are taking, the prot of the prototype, the square prototype, it uh, might not be well matched with uh, the object you want to 
want to have. So it might be well matched, for example, with uh, something square, but not with something elongated. So that's a problem. But so this is an example of one shot learning where you're given one example and then um, the system has to learn uh, to recognize the object in different frames and different view. For example, in the case of the face, um, the face is moving around and it has multiple different view. So even if I train, for example, for one, uh, one um, example of the face, the system might have to learn more as the face uh, moves around. So when you're given one, one example, this might not be enough to train a classifier, especially a classifier with hundreds of thousands of parameters like the one we have here. Also, the system has to be general purpose in, in the sense that it has to be able to recognize different things. As I was saying before, even items with different shapes, with less features and so forth. This could be a quite uh, a complicated problem to solve. Um, the current online learner that um, I was showing today has a multiple prototype option, so you can click on multiple object kinds and you can save the prototypes. You would have different convolutional network uh, and the last layer would be tailored to that specific view. Uh, this system has to be able to tell you if a target is present or not. Um, and of course, it has to find the target in clutter even in, with the background. So it's really a great application of vision system and an awesome example of what you can do with deep network and what should be done. The code is available um, only privately to the lab and collaborators at the moment. This was originally developed by Jan Lecun and Clement Farabay. But uh, nevertheless, if you are interested in this code and you want to work with us on improving it, feel free to email me and ask for it. So the online learner component that I showed you in this program are basically two. There's a ComNet, the convolutional neural network, uh, and there's a tracker. Um, what you do with this, um, with this system is basically you run it and you run a convolutional neural network. When I click on a prototype, the convolutional neural network will run on the whole image and will take a prototype of the area I selected. So it will save some features. And then in subsequent, um, it will also run a tracker in parallel. Um, and uh, you will run a ComNet and the tracker in parallel, basically, both of these systems. And if the results are similar to the tracker, okay. Otherwise, um, you know, you're going to basically trust the tracker and, and get the next sample. So, as I showed you, it works fairly well in some example, but not all.